This article is about the phonology and phonetics of the Spanish language. Unless otherwise noted, statements refer to Castilian Spanish, the standard dialect used in Spain on radio and television. For historical development of the sound system see History of Spanish. For details of geographical variation see Spanish dialects and varieties. Phonemes are written inside slashes, and allophones inside brackets. Topic. Consonants The phonemes b, d, and are realized as approximants namely, b eth, hereafter represented without the downtack or fricatives in all places except after a pause, after a nasal consonant, or in the case of d after a lateral consonant. In such contexts, they are realized as voiced stops. The phoneme is realized as an approximant in all contexts except after a pause, a nasal, or a lateral. In these environments, it may be realized as an affricate. The approximant allophone differs from non-syllabic, i, in a number of ways, it has a lower f2 amplitude, is longer, can only appear in the syllable onset including word initially, where non-syllabic, i, normally never appears, is a palatal fricative in emphatic pronunciations, and is unspecified for rounding e viuda, bua, widow, versus ayuda a ua, help. The two also overlap in distribution after l and n enyesser e saw to plaster aniego anyeo flood. Although there is dialectal and idealectal variation, speakers may also exhibit other near minimal pairs like abjecto abject versus abierto open. There are some alternations between the two, prompting scholars like Alarcos Lorich 1950 to postulate an archiphoneme i so that lay lay would be transcribed phonemically as lay and lay as lees as lays. In a number of varieties, including some American ones, a process parallel to the one distinguishing non-syllabic, I, from consonantal, occurs for non-syllabic, U, and a rare consonantal, W. Near minimal pairs include de schwesar D -E -Z -W, e -saw, to bone versus de suelo de suio, skinning, son huevos so w, e beta os they are eggs versus son nuevos so to the power of n n w e beta os they are new, and waka, w, aka Indian grave versus u o c a woka or goose, many young Argentinians have no distinct phoneme and use the ni sequence instead, thus making no distinction between hurano and uranio both u anjo, the phoneme as distinct from is found in some areas in Spain mostly northern and rural and some areas of South America mostly highlands. Most speakers in Spain except for western Andalusia and all Canary Islands, including the variety prevalent on radio and television, have both theta and s distition. However, speakers in Latin America and those parts of southern Spain have only s sesio. Some speakers in southernmost Spain, especially coastal Andalusia, have only s, a consonant similar to theta, and not s, ccio. This ccio is not entirely unknown in the Americas, especially in coastal Peru. The phoneme s has three different pronunciations: laminal s, apical s, or apical dental s, depending on dialect. The phonemes t and d are laminal denti alveolars t d The phoneme s becomes dental s before denti alveolar consonants while theta remains interdental th in all contexts before front vowels i e the velar consonants k x including the lenited allophone of are realized as post palatal k x according to some authors x is post velar or uvular in the spanish of northern and central spain Others describe x as velar in European Spanish, with a uvular allophone chi appearing before o and u, including when u is in the syllable onset as w. A common pronunciation of f in non-standard speech is the voiceless bilabial fricative, so that fuera is pronounced we rather than fuea. In some Extremaduran, Western Andalusian, and American varieties, this softened realization of f, when it occurs before, with, is subject to merger with x. In some areas, the homophony of fuego, huego is resolved by replacing fuego with lumbra or candela. Is a marginal phoneme that occurs only in loanwords. Many speakers have difficulty with this sound, tending to replace it with t or s. In a number of dialects most notably, northern Mexican Spanish, informal Chilean Spanish, and some Caribbean and Andalusian accents, occurs, as a deafricated, t. In parts of Argentina and Uruguay, is used instead of, and, a form of yaismo. Topic. 
Consonant neutralizations Some of the phonemic contrasts between consonants in Spanish are lost in certain phonological environments, and especially in syllable final position. In these cases the phonemic contrast is said to be neutralized. Sonorance Topic: Nasals and laterals. The three nasal phonemes, per meter, n, and, maintain their contrast when in syllable initial position, e.g., comma, bed, cana, gray hair, caña, sugar cane. In syllable final position, this three-way contrast is lost as nasals assimilate to the place of articulation of the following consonant, even across a word boundary, or, if a nasal is followed by a pause rather than a consonant, it is realized for most speakers as alveolar n, though in Caribbean varieties this may instead be, or an omitted nasal with nasalization of the preceding vowel. Thus, n, is realized as m, before labial consonants, and as, before velar ones. Similarly, l, assimilates to the place of articulation of a following coronal consonant, i.e. a consonant that is interdental, dental, alveolar, or palatal. Assimilatory nasal and lateral allophones are shown in the following table. Rotics The alveolar trill R and the alveolar tap are in phonemic contrast word internally between vowels as in caro car versus caro expensive, but are otherwise in complementary distribution. Only the trill can occur after l, n, or s, e.g. our debtor, enriquecer, Israel, and word initially, e.g. re, king. After a stop or fricative consonant, but not s, only the tap can occur, e.g. trace, three, frio, cold. In syllable final position, inside a word, the tap is more frequent, but the trill can also occur, especially in emphatic or oratorical style, with no semantic difference. Thus arma weapon may be either ama tap or arma trill. In word final position the rhotic is usually either a tap or a trill when followed by a consonant or a pause, as in amo r tilde, paterno paternal love, the former being more common. A tap when followed by a vowel initial word, as in amo, eterno eternal love, when two rhotics occur consecutively across a word or prefix boundary, they result in one trill, so that da rocas s, he gives rocks and da rocas to give rocks are either neutralized, or distinguished by a longer trill in the latter phrase. The tap trill alternation has prompted a number of authors to postulate a single underlying rhotic. The intervocalic contrast then results from gemination, e.g. tierra, tia, greater than tierra, earth. Topic. Obstruents The phonemes, theta, s, and, f, become voiced before voiced consonants as in jasmine, jasmine xa eth min, rasgo feature, razo, and Afghanistan, Afghanistan Ivani's tan. There is a certain amount of free variation in this so that jasmine can be pronounced xa theta min or xa eth min, both in casual and informal speech. There is no phonemic contrast between voiced and voiceless consonants placed in syllable final position. The merged phoneme is typically pronounced as a relaxed, voiced fricative or approximant, although a variety of other realizations are also possible. So the clusters bt and pt in the words obtene and optimista are pronounced exactly the same way. Obtene, O B T E N E R, greater than O beta T N E R. Optimista, O B T I Mista, greater than O beta T Mista. Similarly, the spellings D M and T M are often merged in pronunciation, as well as G D and C D. Adminiculo, Admi Niculo, greater than Ami Niculo. Atmospherico, Admos Faco, greater than Amos Faco. Amygdala, Amidala, greater than Amiala. Anecdota, anedota, greater than aneota. Topic: Vowels. Spanish has five vowels: i, u, e, o, and a, the same that are found in Asturian, Aragonese, Basque, and Leonese. Each occurs in both stressed and unstressed syllables. Nevertheless, there are some distributional gaps or rarities. 
For instance, an unstressed high vowel in the final syllable of a word is rare, because of substratal Quechua. At least some speakers from southern Colombia down through Peru can be analyzed to have only three vowel phonemes, i, u, a, as the close i, u are continually confused with the mid e, o, resulting in pronunciations such as dal soa for dulzura. Sweetness. When Quechua dominant bilinguals have e, o in their phonemic inventory, they realize them as which are heard by outsiders as variants of i, u. Both of those features are viewed as strongly non-standard by other speakers. Allophones <laughs> 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 Phonetic nasalization occurs for vowels occurring between nasal consonants or when preceding a syllable final nasal, e.g. cinco theta eco, five. .Arguably, Eastern Andalusian and Murcian Spanish have ten phonemic vowels, with each of the above vowels paired by a lowered or fronted and lengthened version, e.g. la madre la may, the mother, versus las madres el ash m ash eth, the mothers. .However, these are more commonly analyzed as allophones triggered by an underlying, s, that is subsequently deleted. Topic. Exact number of allophones There is no agreement among scholars on how many vowel allophones Spanish has, an often postulated number is 5 I, U, e, o, a. Some scholars, however, state that Spanish has 11 allophones, the close and mid vowels have close I, U, e, o, and open I, U, allophones, whereas a appears in front a, central a, and back variants. These symbols appear only in the narrowest variant of phonetic transcription. In more broad variants, only the symbols i, u, e, o, a are used, and that is the convention adopted in this article as well, save for this section, for the sake of clarity. Tomas Navarro Tomas describes the distribution of set 11 allophones as follows: Close vowels i, u. The close allophones are phonetically close i, u, and appear in open syllables, e.g. in the words libre li beta e free and subir su beta I R to raise The open allophones are phonetically near close i, u, and appear in closed syllables, e.g. in the word fin phi, n, end. in both open and closed syllables when in contact with r, e.g. in the words rico re, co, rich, and rubio ru, beta jo, blonde. In both open and closed syllables when before, x, e.g. in the words he yo, i, x o, son, and pujo, pu, x o, s, he bid. Mid front vowel, e. The close allophone is phonetically close mid, e, and appears in open syllables, e.g. in the word dado, deo, finger. In closed syllables when before per meter, n, t, theta, s, e.g. in the word valencia, a, len, theta, ya, valencia. The open allophone is phonetically open mid and appears in open syllables when in contact with r, e.g. in the words guerra ra, war, and reto artu challenge. In closed syllables when not followed by per meter, n, t, theta, s, e.g. in the word belga bla, Belgian. In the diphthong, a, e.g. in the words pain pine, comb, and re, re king. Mid back vowel, o. The close allophone is phonetically close mid o and appears in open syllables, e.g. in the word como, como how. The open allophone is phonetically open mid and appears in closed syllables, e.g. in the word con cane with in both open and closed syllables when contact with r, e.g. in the words coro cur I run, borrow bar mud, and roble r beta la oak. In both open and closed syllables when before, x, e.g. in the word ojo, zo, i. In the diphthong, oi, e.g. in the word hoi, i, today. In stressed position when preceded by, a, uh, and followed by either, or, l, e.g. in the word ahora, a, uh, now. Open central vowel, a. Uh. The front allophone is phonetically front, a, uh, and appears before palatal consonants, e.g. in the word despacho, de pato, office. In the diphthong, i, e.g. in the word air, a, air. The back allophone is phonetically back, and appears before the back vowels, u, o, e.g. in the word flauta, fluta, flute. In closed syllables before, l, e.g. in the word sal, sl, salt. In both open and closed syllables when before, x, e.g. in the word tahada, txa, a, chop. The central allophone, a, 
appears in all other cases, e.g. in the word casa ka, sa, according to Eugenio Martinez Celdron. However, systematic classification of Spanish allophones is impossible due to the fact that their occurrence varies from speaker to speaker and from region to region. According to him, the exact degree of openness of Spanish vowels depends not so much on the phonetic environment, but rather on various external factors accompanying speech. Topic diphthongs and triphthongs Spanish has six falling diphthongs and eight rising diphthongs. While many diphthongs are historically the result of a recategorization of vowel sequences hiatus as diphthongs, there is still lexical contrast between diphthongs and hiatus. There are also some lexical items that vary amongst speakers and dialects between hiatus and diphthong, words like biologo biologist with a potential diphthong in the first syllable and words like dialogo with a stressed or pretonic sequence of i, and a vowel vary between a diphthong and hiatus. Chitterin and Hualde 2007 hypothesize that this is because vocalic sequences are longer in these positions. In addition to sinalepha across word boundaries, sequences of vowels in hiatus become diphthongs in fast speech. When this happens, one vowel becomes non-syllabic unless they are the same vowel, in which case they fuse together as in poeta po, eta, poet, and maestro me, sto, teacher. Similarly, the relatively rare diphthong, eu, may be reduced to u in certain unstressed contexts, as in euphemia, euphemja. In the case of verbs like aliviar relieve, diphthongs result from the suffixation of normal verbal morphology onto a stem final, j, that is, aliviar would be, alib, plus, r. This contrasts with verbs like amplier to extend, which, by their verbal morphology, seem to have stems ending in, i. Spanish also possesses triphthongs like, way, and, in dialects that use a second-person plural conjugation, j, j e i, and, y, e g bui, ox, cambiais, you change, cambiais, that you may change, and averguais, you ascertain, non-syllabic, e, and, o, can be reduced to, w, as in beatitude, bati tu, beatitude, and poetiza, p w, e tisa, poetis, respectively. Similarly, non-syllabic, a, can be completely elided, as in e g ahorita, o ita, right away. The frequency, though not the presence, of this phenomenon differs amongst dialects, with a number having it occur rarely and others exhibiting it always. Topic: <laughs> Prosody. Spanish is usually considered a syllable-timed language. Even so, stressed syllables can be up to 50% longer in duration than non-stressed syllables. Although pitch, duration, and loudness contribute to the perception of stress, pitch is the most important in isolation. Primary stress occurs on the penultima, the next to last syllable, 80% of the time. The other 20% of the time, stress falls on the ultima and antepenultima third to last syllable. Nonverbs are generally stressed on the penultimate syllable for vowel final words and on the final syllable of consonant final words. Exceptions are marked orthographically see below, whereas regular words are underlyingly phonologically marked with a stress feature plus stress. In addition to exceptions to these tendencies, particularly learned words from Greek and Latin that feature antepenultimate stress, there are numerous minimal pairs which contrast solely on stress such as sabana sheet and sabana savanna, as well as limite boundary, limite that he, she limit and limite I limited. Lexical stress may be marked orthographically with an acute accent osido, distition, etc. This is done according to the mandatory stress rules of Spanish orthography, which are similar to the tendencies above differing with words like distition and are defined so as to unequivocally indicate where the stress lies in a given written word. An acute accent may also be used to differentiate homophones, such as me my, and me, me. In such cases, the accent is used on the homophone that normally receives greater stress when used in a sentence. Lexical stress patterns are different between words carrying verbal and nominal inflection, in addition to the occurrence of verbal affixes with stress something absent in nominal inflection, underlying stress also differs in that it falls on the last syllable of the inflectional stem in verbal words while those of nominal words may have ultimate or penultimate stress. In addition, amongst sequences of clitics suffixed to a verb, the rightmost clitic may receive secondary stress, e.g. buscalo, buscalo, look for it. <laughs> <laughs> alternations A number of alternations exist in Spanish that reflect diachronic changes in the language and arguably reflect morphophonological processes rather than strictly phonological ones. 
For instance, a number of words alternate between k and theta, or and x, with the latter in each pair appearing before a front vowel. Note that the conjugation of most verbs with a stem ending in k, or does not show this alternation, these segments do not turn into theta, or x, before a front vowel. There are also alternations between unstressed e, and o, and stressed j, and we, respectively. Likewise, in a very small number of words, alternations occur between the palatal sonorants and their corresponding alveolar sonorants ln, doncella, doncel, maiden, youth, desdainyar, desdin, to scorn, scorn. This alternation does not appear in verbal or nominal inflection, that is, the plural of doncel is doncelis, not asterisk doncels. This is the result of geminated ll, and nn, of Vulgar Latin, the origin of and respectively degeminating and then depalatalizing in coda position. Words without any palatal alveolar allomorphy are the result of historical borrowings. Other alternations include per kilo second, tilde, x, anexo versus anejo, per not, tilde, t, nocturna versus noche. Here the forms with per kilo second, and per not, are historical borrowings and the forms with, x, and, t, forms are inherited from Vulgar Latin. There are also pairs that show antepenultimate stress in nouns and adjectives but penultimate stress in synonymous verbs vomito vomit versus vomito I vomit. <laughs> Phonotactics Spanish syllable structure can be summarized as follows, parentheses enclose optional components. C1, C2, S1, V, S2, C3, C4. Spanish syllable structure consists of an optional syllable onset, consisting of one or two consonants, an obligatory syllable nucleus, consisting of a vowel optionally preceded by and or followed by a semivowel, and an optional syllable coda, consisting of one or two consonants. The following restrictions apply. Onset First consonant C1 can be any consonant, including a liquid, L, R. Second consonant C2, if and only if the first consonant is a stop P, T, K, B, D, or a voiceless labiodental fricative, F, a second consonant, always a liquid, L, R, is permitted. Onsets, TL, and per deci liter, occur only in loanwords. Nucleus Semivowel S1 Vowel V Semivowel S2 Coda First consonant C3 can be any consonant. Second consonant C4 must be S. A coda combination of two consonants appears only in loanwords, mainly from classical Latin, but never in words inherited from Vulgar Latin. Medial codas assimilate place features of the following onsets and are often stressed. Maximal onsets include transporte slash t ans por dot te, flaco slash florida dot co, clave slash claw dot b. Maximal nuclei include Bui, Bue, Uruguay, U, UUA. Maximal codas include instalar slash ins dot ta lar, perspectiva slash pers dot pec t dot ba. In many dialects, a coda cannot be more than one consonant one of n, r, l or s in informal speech. Realizations like slash tross por dot te, slashes dot ta lar, slash pays dot pec t dot ba, are very common, and in many cases, they are allowed even in formal speech. Because of the phonotactic constraints, an epithetic e, is inserted before word initial clusters beginning with, s, e.g. escribir to write, but not word internally, transcribir to transcribe, thereby moving the initial, s, to a separate syllable. The epithetic e, is pronounced even when it is not reflected in spelling e.g. the surname of Carlos Slim is pronounced, s lin. While Spanish words undergo word initial epenthesis, cognates in Latin and Italian do not lot, status slash sta dot tus, state, tilde it, stato slash sta dot tu, tilde sp, a stato slash s ta dot do, lot, splendidus slash splen dot d dot dus, splendid, tilde it, splendido slash splen dot d dot do, tilde sp, esplendido slash s plen dot d dot do, fr, slave, slav, slav, tilde it, slavo slash sla dot vo, tilde sp, eslavo slash esla dot bo, Spanish syllable structure is phrasal, resulting in syllables consisting of phonemes from neighboring words in combination, sometimes even resulting in elision. The phenomenon is known in Spanish as in lace. For a brief discussion contrasting Spanish and English syllable structure, see Whitley 2002-32-35. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Acquisition as a first language. Phonology Phonological development varies greatly by individual, both those developing regularly and those with delays. However, a general pattern of acquisition of phonemes can be inferred by the level of complexity of their features, i.e. by sound classes. A hierarchy may be constructed, and if a child is capable of producing a discrimination on one level, he, she will also be capable of making the discriminations of all prior levels. The first level consists of stops without a voicing distinction, nasals, L, and optionally, a non-lateral approximant. This includes a labial, coronal place difference for example, B versus T and L versus beta. The second level includes voicing distinction for oral stops and a coronal, dorsal place difference. This allows for distinction between P, T, and K, along with their voiced counterparts, as well as distinction between L and the approximant J. The third level includes fricatives and or affricates. The fourth level introduces liquids other than L and it also introduces theta. The fifth level introduces the trill R. This hierarchy is based on production only, and is a representation of a child's capacity to produce a sound, whether that sound is the correct target in adult speech or not. Thus, it may contain some sounds that are not included in the adult phonology, but produced as a result of error. Spanish-speaking children will accurately produce most segments at a relatively early age. By around three and a half years, they will no longer productively use phonological processes the majority of the time. Some common error patterns found 10% or more of the time are cluster reduction, liquid simplification, and stopping. Less common patterns evidence less than 10% of the time include palatal fronting, assimilation, and final consonant deletion. Typical phonological analyses of Spanish consider the consonants b, d, and the underlying phonemes and their corresponding approximants beta and allophonic and derivable by phonological rules. However, approximants may be the more basic form because monolingual Spanish learning children learn to produce the continuant contrast between ptk and beta before they do the lead voicing contrast between PTK and BD. In comparison, English learning children are able to produce adult like voicing contrasts for these stops well before age 3. The allophonic distribution of BD and beta produced in adult speech is not learned until after age 2 and not fully mastered even at age 4. The alveolar trill R is one of the most difficult sounds to be produced in Spanish and as a result is acquired later in development. Research suggests that the alveolar trill is acquired and developed between the ages of 3 and 6 years. Some children acquire an adult-like trill within this period and some fail to properly acquire the trill. The attempted trill sound of the poor trillers is often perceived as a series of taps owing to hyperactive tongue movement during production. The trill is also very difficult for those learning Spanish as a second language, sometimes taking over a year to produce properly. Codas One research study found that children acquire medial codas before final codas, and stressed codas before unstressed codas. Since medial codas are often stressed and must undergo place assimilation, greater importance is accorded to their acquisition. Liquid and nasal codas occur word medially and at the ends of frequently used function words, so they are often acquired first. Topic. Prosody Research suggests that children overgeneralize stress rules when they are reproducing novel Spanish words and that they have a tendency to stress the penultimate syllables of antipenultimately stressed words, to avoid a violation of nonverb stress rules that they have acquired. Many of the most frequent words heard by children have irregular stress patterns or are verbs, which violate nonverb stress rules. This complicates stress rules until ages 3 to 4, when stress acquisition is essentially complete, and children begin to apply these rules to novel irregular situations. Dialectal variation Some features, such as the pronunciation of voiceless stops, PTK, have no dialectal variation. However, there are numerous other features of pronunciation that differ from dialect to dialect. Topic: 
Topic: Yaismo. One notable dialectal feature is the merging of the voiced palatal fricative, as in air, with the palatal lateral approximant, as in kaye, into one phoneme, yaismo, with losing its laterality. While the distinction between these two sounds has traditionally been a feature of Castilian Spanish, this merger has spread throughout most of Spain in recent generations, particularly outside of regions in close linguistic contact with Catalan and Basque. In Spanish America, most dialects are characterized by this merger, with the distinction persisting mostly in parts of Peru, Bolivia, Paraguay, and northwestern Argentina. In the other parts of Argentina, the phoneme resulting from the merger is realized as and in Buenos Aires the sound has recently been devoiced to among the younger population the change is spreading throughout Argentina topic sesio sesio and distition speakers in northern and central spain including the variety prevalent on radio and television have both theta and s distition distinction However, speakers in Latin America, Canary Islands and some parts of southern Spain have only s sesio, which in southernmost Spain is pronounced theta and not s sesio. Topic: <laughs> Realization of s. The phoneme s has three different pronunciations depending on the dialect area. An apical alveolar retracted fricative or apico alveolar Fricative s sounds a bit like English and is characteristic of the northern and central parts of Spain and is also used by many speakers in Colombia's Antioquia department. A laminal alveolar grooved fricative s, much like the most common pronunciation of English s, is characteristic of western Andalusia, e.g., Malaga, Seville, and Cadiz, Canary Islands, and Latin America. An apical dental grooved fricative s, ad hoc symbol, which has a lisping quality and sounds something like a cross between English s and theta, but is different from the theta, occurring in dialects that distinguish s and theta. It occurs in eastern Andalusia like in Granada, Huelva, Cordoba, Jaén, and Almería. It occurs only in dialects with ccio. Obeid describes the apico alveolar sound as follows. There is a Castilian s, which is a voiceless, concave, apicoalveolar fricative, the tip of the tongue turned upward forms a narrow opening against the alveoli of the upper incisors. It resembles a faint and is found throughout much of the northern half of Spain. Dalbor describes the apico dental sound as follows s is a voiceless, coronodentoalveolar groove fricative, the so called s coronal or s plana because of the relatively flat shape of the tongue body. To this writer, the coronal s, heard throughout Andalusia, should be characterized by such terms as soft, fuzzy, or imprecise, which, as we shall see, brings it quite close to one variety of theta. Canfield has referred, quite correctly, in our opinion, to this s, as the lisping coronal dental, and Amato Alonso remarks how close it is to the post-dental, th suggesting a combined symbol theta to represent it. In some dialects, s may become the approximant in the syllable coda, e.g., dosientos do theta gen tos 200. In many places, it debuccalizes to h in final position, e.g., niños neo children, or before another consonant, e.g., fosforo fofu match. So the change occurs in the coda position in a syllable. From an autosegmental point of view, the s phoneme in Madrid is defined only by its voiceless and fricative features. Thus, the point of articulation is not defined and is determined from the sounds following it in the word or sentence. In Madrid, the following realizations are found, pes cado, greater than, pex cow, and, fosfu, greater than, fofu. In parts of southern Spain, the only feature defined for, s, appears to be voiceless, it may lose its oral articulation entirely to become, h, or even a geminate with the following consonant, mimo, or, mimo, from, mismo, same. In Eastern Andalusian and Murcian Spanish, word final, s, theta, and, x, phonetically, h, regularly weaken, and the preceding vowel is lowered and lengthened, is, greater than, i, e.g. mis, me, my, place, s, greater than, e.g. mes, m, month, as, greater than, ash, e.g. moss, m, ash, plus, os, greater than, e.g. tos, t, cough, us, greater than, u, e.g. tus, tu, 
your place, a subsequent process of vowel harmony takes place. So lejos far is lx, tenes you plural have is t me, and trebles clovers is t beta l or t beta ol. Topic: Coda simplification. Southern European Spanish, Andalusian Spanish, Murcian Spanish, etc., and several lowland dialects in Latin America, such as those from the Caribbean, Panama, and the Atlantic coast of Colombia, exhibit more extreme forms of simplification of coda consonants. Word final dropping of s, e.g., compass, k o m pa, musical beat, or compass. Word final dropping of nasals with nasalization of the preceding vowel, e.g., ven, b, come. R in the infinitival morpheme, e.g., comer, comi, to eat. The occasional dropping of coda consonants word internally, e.g., doctor, due to r, doctor. The dropped consonants appear when additional suffixation occurs, e.g., compasses, k o m pace, beats, venian, b ni, a. They were coming, comeremos, come emo, we will eat. Similarly, a number of coda assimilations occur. L and R may neutralize to J, e.g. Ciba in your Dominican celda, cerda, seja, cell, bristle, to L, e.g. Caribbean Spanish alma, arma, alma, soul, weapon, Andalusian Spanish sartén, salte, to R, e.g. Andalusian Spanish alma, arma, arma, or by complete regressive assimilation to a copy of the following consonant, e.g. pulga, perga, pua, flea, purge, carne, con e, meat. S, X, and theta in Southern Peninsular Spanish and F may be debuccalized or elided in the coda, e.g. Los Amigos, Lo, H, A, M, O, H, the friends. Stops and nasals may be realized as velar, e.g. Cuban and Venezuelan étnico, enico, ethnic, himno, eno, final d, dropping, e.g. mitted, mi ta, half, is general in most dialects of Spanish. Even in formal speech, the deletions and neutralizations show variability in their occurrence, even with the same speaker in the same utterance. So non-deleted forms exist in the underlying structure. The dialects may not be on the path to eliminating coda consonants since deletion processes have been existing for more than four centuries. Catart 1997 argues that it is the result of speakers acquiring multiple phonological systems with uneven control like that of second language learners. In standard European Spanish, the voiced obstruents b, d before a pause are devoiced and lacks to b eth, as in club k l u b social club s e d say eth thirst zigzag theta i theta. A. However, word final b is rare and even more so. They are restricted mostly to loanwords and foreign names, such as the first name of former Real Madrid sports director Predrag Miatovic, which is pronounced pay -e -a, and after another consonant, the voiced obstruent may even be deleted, as in iceberg, pronounced i theta e beta e. Topic: <laughs> Loan sounds. The fricative may also appear in borrowings from other languages, such as Nahuatl and English. In addition, the affricates t, s, and t also occur in Nahuatl borrowings. See also History of the Spanish language List of phonetics topics Spanish dialects and varieties Stress in Spanish equals equals notes